Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 has been nothing more than an action-packed high-octane fight festival that has had everyone just amazed at how well they animated the fight scenes from the manga. Even though MAPPA really got into some big controversies, but let's not get into that because we're here to discuss why JJK Season 2 was the best season for anime fights in history. After the incident during the Kyoto Goodwill event arc, we ended off in one hell of a cliffhanger. But now in season 2, the Shibuya arc arrived and things are getting as heated as ever. During this arc, the Curses set a trap for Gojo in Shibuya and successfully sealed him. But that was before he was able to kill one of the special grade curses, Hanami, the one who escaped back at the end of season 1. But before that even happened, we got to see Mechamaru fight Maito and what looked like almost the finale of Gurren Lagann. Then we got to see Toji Zenin reincarnate, kill Ogami, and take over her grandson's body. But that was only a few of the numerous fights that have happened in the entire season. However, the true focus of this season was to show a turning point in the series where the only thing that was limiting the curse's activity was pulled out of the picture. It was just pure carnage with the new characters continually popping up and some of our favorites dying one by one. I mean, it might just be one of the most casualty heavy arcs in all of anime. Nanami popped off only to be horribly burned by Jogo while we saw just how unlucky Jogo really is since he fought two of the strongest beings in all of Jujutsu Kaisen. So let's go through all the fights that happened and just analyze why they made Jujutsu Kaisen season an amazing series. We won't go through every single one but focus more on the highlights. First is the one where Nanami completely dominated Shigi mode. During this time Nanami was in rage mode and you can tell through the animation that the animators at MAPPA gave it their all to increase the impact of this single scene. Nanami was completely buff and that angry face he made was just menacing. If it wasn't for Shigimo's curse technique, he would have been already dead at the first punch. And next there was when Toji was reincarnated and saved the sorcerers from Dagon. Not gonna lie, the fight between Dagon- It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What? <laughs> gone into Jujutsu Sorcerers was amazing, but Toji overpowering a special grade cursed spirit alone was just badass. He didn't even give Dagon any room, just pummeled him with attack after attack after attack. That's when we realized Toji's true power and how strong he really is. Since Nabido and Nanami are grade 1 sorcerers, second only to special grades, and it was just a coincidence that Toji chose Dagon and accidentally saved them, but without his presence, they would have been in much bigger trouble. Then there was the fight between Chozo and Yuji that happened and we could definitely tell it took some inspiration from the raid. Unlike other fights that mainly relied on jujitsu or the other force overpowering the other, this was a constant back to back close quarter battle that showcased breathtaking choreography. Even at the start before Yuji even landed Chozo wanted that smoke and immediately used piercing blood. This was also one of the few fights where the characters actually utilized their environments to get an advantage which was shown when Yuji used water to mitigate the effects of Chozo's curse technique. After that we had the father and son fight between Toji and Megami and it did not disappoint. Even though Megami was always on a run he made sure that Toji was gonna have to put in some work before he could kill him. And when Megami used Rabbit Escape, there was literally one which people had now called Rabbit 273 that just went up to Toji's face and started kicking him. And yeah, it didn't do any damage, but watching that bunny have no fear against the Sorcerer Killer was hilarious and awesome at the same time. Lastly, perhaps the most awaited fight was the battle between Sukuna and Maharaga. This was the fight that had gained a lot of controversy because there were some inconsistencies with the animation, but you cannot deny a major mouth to drop. I'm not going to spoil any of it, but the impact frames and the way they animated Mahiraga constantly adapting to Sukuna's domain expansion was insane. And of course there was a fight between Sukuna and Jogo that literally blew a crater inside Shibuya, and we got to see Sukuna use a new fire based ability. With all those amazing fights packed into one season, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 definitely carried the action fantasy genre of 2023. They were not holding back and showed us that if a show can adapt well, then some incredible things could happen. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this one, and see you in the next one.